Hello, I'm Cubitect and this is another update for my Cubitimer mod. So, I've made a few changes. As you can see now, I can su uh, I support uh, in-game time, real time. I can add splits uh, with particular times. If I go into this uh, uh, into a world here, you can see that the time starts and I need to actually do a refresh first because uh, we're all messed up because there was no save file before. Now the timer is kept at zero but if I move my mouse or look in any direction or press any key except for F5 then the timer will start and counting down and you can see that the split is goes up. Uh, this uses uh, in-game time by the way for the splits but if I now wait a little bit you can see it's green now but it will turn red when you're going into um, greater time and if I press sp my split button then you can see it moves on to the next split and the same goes on for there uh, if I continue now I made it so it would save the um, the status of the timer in a save file and also you can change any of the uh, anything about this pretty much you can or rather you can add timers add sp separators any n number of splits that you like but I think I'm just going to show you so now we are th three minutes and something and if I force quit Minecraft and restart it then the timer should be at exactly the same point yeah and now if I enter world again you can see the in-game timer continues from exactly that point. So this should be useful for du duplicating items that require um, quitting the game and then re-entering and picking up the items twice and something like that. But yeah, and I think I'm just going to show you how you can customize the timer now and how to install the mod as well. And so let me just quit Minecraft for now. Okay, so I've got a in the Minecraft directory here. I've got the Cubitic config file. This is created the first time you run the modded version. So we've got uh, a bunch of options here. So uh, all kinds of colors for that are displayed in the uh, in the game or for the timer the entire width of the timer and the split offset is uh, how much space uh, of the width is available for the labels of the different components so you can add any number on any combination of these four um, components right now so there is an in-game timer then a real timer and you can add a label or you can just leave it like this and we'll just display the time a separator that takes an argument as an argument essentially the um, an R, um, well alpha red green blue color so the first two uh, or the first byte is the alpha component so this is entirely transparent right now but yeah and then you can add um, change the names of the different splits and add splits or just delete splits and whatever you would uh, uh, you like yeah and uh, this should be nice and customizable but yeah I think what I'm going to do now is just uh, go through an uh, through an installation process so I'm just going to delete the or actually let me just take out the modded uh, the mod okay delete that okay when you've got uh, download the QB timer uh, zip then you can just copy um, a ver the 1.8.7 uh, directory in your version st uh, folder and if I just copy and paste this and then I'm just going to rename this to something let's say uh, mod and then you will have to rename the files inside the same way and you will also have to change the ID inside the JSON file 
to the same name as well. Okay, save. Okay, now you've got a uh, second instance of the 1.8.7 Minecraft version and I'm just going to pop this in here so I can open both of these with a archive manager or whatever program you use to open um, compressed files so both a jar and a zip so my uh, I'm going to copy all the files from my uh, cubitimer zip and put them into the 1.8.7 jar then I have to delete the meta inf directory inside the Minecraft jar and then we're done. The mod should be installed and I'm going to delete both of these just to get a fresh, uh, a fresh config as well and now if I go in here there should be a... oh I need to restart the launcher as well restart the launcher and now in versions there should be a release 1.8.7 mod and use that if I start it then we've got a fresh install here so by default I've just got the in-game timer in here and if we look here we've just got the in-game timer there as well but I can just add a new split or something like this so let's say just to do this again split and then something is equal to some time it's not that sensitive to the format um, but uh, you should probably stick to the default format so let's add some time here now it will round actually to the nearest tick that represents this time or next lowest tick so if I just restart Minecraft again then we should now have this split and here we go and then I can reset everything and we count up now my default keys for splitting and resetting is 0 and P can change this to whatever you like, even just um, F6 or whatever you want. But yeah, I think this is pretty much it. I thank you very much for watching, and I hope this mod is useful to some of you. And bye bye.